welcome back to my life as a maiden. Oh man, the last episode, the last episode has like really, 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 really upset me. Yeah. I'm joined by Dronzio and in the background Hello. is Ben. Hello. Uh, just that last episode. Ah, uh, I need I, I need to find a anti-bullying campaign thing and just leave a description, leave the link in the description where you, you can donate some money for the campaign. Just that really got to me. Uh, so uh, anyway, I need to talk to Dawn. Yeah. That's what I need. I need to be lighting up from that last episode. That last episode was a downer. So I need Dawn. Or Harley. Harley Harley is funny too, but Dawn is better. I, I think she... Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe I should go with the... Maybe I should go with um, the thing that I, I think how the story would go and be with Erica. Yeah. I think that's how the story would go. But, yeah. Dawn! I like Dawn. She, yeah, she's funny. Anyway, yeah. Erica! Uh oh. Sylvia, I was just about to head back to the dorm. What's wrong? You need to apologize to him! Are you talking about Maria? No, I'm talking about the other boy in the school. <laughs> in school! <laughs> Erica, stop playing that game. You're not allowed. One? Yeah, I was gonna say. No, oh, I'm talking about the other boy in school. Of course I'm talking about Maria! But... No buts! He's gone through some horrible things and he does not need you ruin his time here. I already... I know! You already feel bad, but he doesn't know that. He still thinks you hate him. He told me that this morning. Will you just... The longer you wait, the more you'll want to pull it off. Will you shut up? My goodness, you are irritating. I've been trying to say that I've already apologized to Maria. You have? Since when? This afternoon, I asked him to meet me by the benches, and I apologized when he got there. Oh. Why are you so angry? I shouldn't tell you this, but it's a, it's a pific... It's, ah! Ah! Yes. Blah, words are hard. Say it again. Oh, see, now I can't. <laughs> there we go. But I was talking to Maria about why he transferred here. Wasn't it because he was picked on? That's putting it lightly, sis. They did awful, awful things to him. I can't. It can't be worse than what I went through. Oh, I think it was. Sylvia! I'm not saying what you went through wasn't bad, but. The stuff he went through is horrifying. I can't believe high school students could do something like that. Is it that bad? Ask him yourself. She had such a serious look on her, on her face and she looks shaken up. What could it possibly have went... What, <laughs> what could he possibly went through? Okay, I will. Is he not here? Wait, I can hear the shower. Don't do Right. Knock before you enter. Right. He's showering at night. Right, he showers at night. I'm the morning shower myself. What's this? A note on the bathroom door? Yeah. Erica, I'm in the shower. Please don't come. Do not come in. <laughs> Smart, right there. I need to tell mother about the broken lock as soon as possible. Hi, Erica. Hello, Maria. How was, how is the work on your campaign do it going? I made good progress today. There is no way I'm going to lose. That's great to hear, Maria. Yeah. Sylvia came to me just as I was about to leave. She was pretty angry and barely let me speak. She was mad at you. Why? She thought I hadn't apologized and said you've been through enough. 
You told her something about you, you being bullied, right? <sighs> Twice in one day. Okay, sit down, I'll tell you the story. Show you the story. Your back is completely destroyed! What kind of monsters would do something so horrible? I ask myself that a lot. I've also wondered if I, it was my fault, like they claimed when they were t taunting me. That is bullshit! It's not your fault. Mm, never the victim's fault. This is why I dislike boys. Except you. They're cruel and uncaring. Hey, girls could do the same thing. The ones who cut me wasn't a boy, Erica. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! Twist! Wow, I didn't see that coming. Me neither. And I just said girls could do that too. <laughs> wow. Wow, I sort of called it without calling it. A, a, a girl did this to you? There were guys in the group too, but the one who used the knife definitely sounded like a girl. That explains the picture. I guess. What the picture with the knife in the hand. Oh the nails. shit, yeah. I guess girls can be awful too. I wonder if I would have disliked other girls if they, if the males in my life had been females instead. Could you tell me what happened to you since I told you about me? Sure, but don't expect something as bad as what you went through. It's not a competition. It's not a, comp <laughs> it's not a competition. I want to understand you better. And this is some. So that's why you dislike males. Yeah, my father, my cousins, and the boys, who, and the boy who told everyone I slept with him. They all made me lose trust in guys, but not all guys are like that. I know I'm not the one to talk since I haven't really gotten along with, well with other guys in a long time, but I know there are good guys out there. I do too. I know that logically there must be a good males and bad males just as it is for females but my experience are uh, clouding my judgment I don't know if I can change that about myself well you don't have to change your mind immediately take it one step at a time getting along with me is progress isn't it you're right I didn't think I didn't think I'd ever be able to have a decent conversation with you, and here we are, only a day later. Oh, so much a day can change. Yeah. How many? How long has this day been? How many episodes? Ooh. It feels like a lot longer than that. It, yeah, it yeah, does. Right. Feels like a whole day. In two feels days. like a week. Yeah. A lot has happened today and yesterday. So Maria, did you not have any friends at your old school at all? No, I didn't. I had called to no. know. I did have one friend a long time ago, my cousin, but she moved away when I was young. What was she like? You know her, it's Andre. Cornette? Yep. Does she know who you are? No, I'm afraid to tell her. I'm sure she'd accept you the way you are. What if she doesn't? You didn't. You didn't at first. Yeah, well, I was an idiot. Boom! At least she could call it on you. That that's not something I was I expected her to say. I thought she'd be too proud to insult herself like that. She must really regret how she treated me. Many Christians don't approve of cross dressing though. What if she's one of them? Ah, <sighs> that's a tough one. Audrey is more on the conservative side than even me, so I get I get your worries. Worry. But I still think you should tell her. I think about telling her. I make no promises though. I take, I talk some sense into her if it upsets or disturbs her. Thanks, Erica. No problem. By the way, I tried to say that I. <laughs> yeah, enough of that. By the way, I've been wondering this since I found out you were a boy. What was your name before you changed it? It's the game with an M. Uh, I still have a few more pages to read in my science textbook. Oh. Maria! You'll laugh at me. I'm not going to laugh at you. Yes, you will. I'd laugh at me. 
Really? I won't laugh. When I changed my name, I decided to change it to something similar I told on Maria. I called it that. Mario! What? <laughs> what? The n name I changed it from was Mario. Mario. Oh man, how did I not even think of that? It's just the O at the end. Maria to Mario to Maria. I can't you're, show You're the Mario to the dawn. Oh. The Italian connection works. The Italian connection works. It's come full circle. Hey, it's a me, a man. Mario? You're laughing. No, no. I'm a hee hee not. You're so laughing. Go ahead and laugh. I know it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Mario, that is so funny. Ha 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 ha. It doesn't suit you at all. I didn't even suit. I didn't even suit me before I started dressing like a girl. I always dislike having that name. Do I look Italian to you? <laughs> Dawn does. <laughs> oh my size, they hurt. She looks pretty when she la when she's laughing like that. It's worth the mo momentary discomfort. Momentary discomfort. Two, two weeks, weeks later. Damn. What happens in those two weeks? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, what about all the spaghetti touching? And, yeah, the spaghetti and, 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 the, the, and the blanket. It's just like, come on, man. You skipped out on us. I wanted to see those days. Aww. Cue card. Check hair, check hair and makeup, check clothes, check what well, you're wearing them. You've been going over the same things again and again for the past half an hour. You're ready, Erica. Today is the day, and we vote for a student council president. Erica is being a perfectionist, which is rather annoying so early in the morning. I need to go through it one more time. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm leaving. See you at the gym. Mm-hmm. See you later, boyfriend. She barely acknowledges my presence. It's like she's lost in her own little world. The past two weeks have been great. I've made a bunch of friends and have gotten to know Erica, Sylvia, Dawn, and Harley, and Andre once again. With the way Erica and I are with each with each other now, our bad first day and some of the second day seems like a distant memory. Audrey and I have been spending a lot a lot of time together. While it's is fun, I'm sometimes catch her staring hard at me. She looks like she's a, an analyst in me. She definitely knows I feel familiar to her, but she doesn't know why. I think I might have to tell her eventually. Having told Sylvia one of my deepest secrets, I feel I can really trust her to listen and be there for me if I ever feeling down. She's awfully at she's awful at keeping unimportant secrets. But she would never tell something important. Dawn is still really obsessed with me. It's flattering but kind of creepy at times. She tried to flip my skirt, which would have been extremely dangerous. It was the first time I'm seriously got upset with her, so she promised she wouldn't do it again. Harley has been going to class like she agreed she would. I've asked some of the grade 12s if she's actually paying attention, and they said she sleeps half the time. I guess that's better than not going to class at all, though. As per agreement, I've met up with her twice a week when she decides to take a nap. She always seems to nap under the same tree. It's still pretty awkward sleeping on top of her, but I'm getting used to it. Hmm, I still have some spare time until I need to head to gym. Best go to the tree to take a nap. <laughs> what should I do? I get to choose? Oh, go to breakfast. Save. One, two, three, four, five. Okay.
Okay, so what's there? Go to bre go get breakfast. Rest in the living room. Head outside for fresh air. Wait for Erica. Go to fucking breakfast. Breakfast is... Oh, I'm gonna meet Dawn. I should... Breakfast is an important meal. I shouldn't skip it. Yeah, Dawn and Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Dawn. I greet my friends as I put down my plate containing two medium-sized pancakes covered in maple syrup. Mm -mm. Put some bacon. The real kind... I definitely prove that it's American. The real kind... Not the cheap table syrup. Morning, Maria. Hey, uh, how's my lovely waifu doing this morning? <laughs> I still don't know what that means! <laughs> Basically, in her head, she has delusions about you being her wife. Okay... Hey, Sylvia, you're making that sound much creepier than it is. My love for her is 100% pure. Sure it is. That's why you tried to flip her skirt, right? Of, I had a lapse in judgment. I wasn't myself. As long as you don't do it again. Never. I don't want to incur the wrath of Maria again. Shivers. I mean, brrrah. So, who's running against Erica? She's pr being pr practiced. Practically dead to my questions, so I couldn't ask her. There's two other camp competent, competent. One is a girl in grade nine, Jasmine Gray, and a girl in my grade, Ella Stark. She could be killed off. Winter is coming, <laughs> and all Starks must die. <laughs> think they stand a chance? Not at all. I am kind of feel sorry for them. They don't know how to run a campaign and their goals aren't realistic. Erica will shoot them down with the facts in no time. Erica is a pretty scary girl when she gets serious. Her evil eye, her evil eye paralyzed me in fear when I forgot to bring my empty plate to the kitchen after dinner last Wednesday. Dawn has spent some time around Erica now, but Erica doesn't really like her. She says that Dawn gives her headaches. <laughs> Dawn doesn't mind Erica, but it doesn't seem that she considers her a friend. I, th I think, I think she was right for calling you out on that. You shouldn't give the cleaning stuff even more work, especially when you constantly make messes. I know, but the food just goes everywhere. It's like it's it has a mind of its own. Ha ha ha, oh Dawn. She's just so excitable and silly. It's hard for me to be upset with her. I know. Oh, it's Jim. Good morning, students. Thank you for showing up this morning. I am glad so many of you are taking an interest in the selection of this year's student council president. First, we will have the, all three candidates explain what they plan to do if elected. Then they will answer the up to 10 questions you have about their goals and abilities. The next segment is the debate. The candidates will explain why they are the most fit for the job and counter their opponent's arguments if they feel it is flawed. Finally, each student will line up in up on either the left or the right side of the gym, depending on your last name, to vote for the candidate you believe is the most worthy. You'll be given a small sheet of paper with the three choices. Leave a check mark in the box beside the candidate you choose. I wish the three candidates luck, even a one dollar. First up is Erica Farrell, grade 11. L loud cheers. <laughs> Despite some people complaining that she was the was too strict, Erica is quite popular. Apparently she changed up a few things to improve efficiency and students' satisfaction. Last year she focused on the library 
and the year before she focused on the gym. This year she's focusing on software used in class. Hello fellow students, I am Erica Farrow. I've just reached the ten, uh, 20 minute mark and must end the episode here. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and family and fuck the enemies. Don't share with them. I don't care about them now after the bullying. So thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Thank you and bye. Thank you.